Brothers here, rainbrothers.com. Today we're talking about our tank level gauge. This is uh, made by an Australian company, uh, the Blue Mountain Group. Um, this is a, uh, a gauge that, that doesn't require any electricity, and it's a very simple and inexpensive gauge that we recommend to 90% of our, of our customers for just a, a quick readout on your level. The way this works is there is the gauge itself and a float that is suspended by a, a string. Um, to install the gauge, you would drill an inch and a quarter hole on top of your tank. It doesn't matter if it's above ground or underground. Um, usually you drill it in the, ac in the, in the access for the tank. Um, inch and a quarter hole through which this float will, will uh, drop through. Um, and then there is a flange on the gauge that has a rubber seal and, or a foam seal rather, and two screw holes to mount the gauge to the, to the whatever access you have. Um, so this will stay above ground, this will go in the tank, and then of course as the float uh, drops or rises with the water level, it will, it will um, move the needle on the, on the face of the gauge to let you know what the level is. Um, when you are setting up this gauge, you'll need to uh, calibrate it. And the way to do that is you will measure the mounting point on top of the tank, um, the distance from the mounting point to the maximum fill level on the tank, which is, which is gonna be your overflow level. So usually that's, you know, on an underground cistern, usually it's two feet. So we would measure down two feet or whatever that max fill level is, that difference in height. And at that point, we would take the faceplate off with a flathead screwdriver. There's a couple of indentations. Faceplate pops off. So we measure down the max fill height, and that's where we set our full arrow. We reposition the full arrow to that. That's how we know the max fill level is the full mark on the gauge. And then we would measure down from the height of where this gauge is mounted down to the floor of the tank or our empty level. And then we would move this empty arrow and set it um, so that it shows the parameters of the tank itself. At that point, we would reattach the faceplate, making sure that that O-ring is seated in there. It snaps back into place. We would screw it into the top of the tank and the gauge is set. Now this is a very inexpensive gauge, uh, right around $30. Um, we, it, it's not perfect. There, over time, UV will um, tends to wear at the gauge since it is plastic. Um, it can warp uh, if it if it after several years of use it can warp. Um, the string is is lightweight, so um, it, you know if if it at a certain point, usually after a couple of years, this string uh, will will start to fail. So it it's it's not perfect, but um, the, really, the next level of tank gauges is in the $300 range. Anything between that price point, between $30 and $300, I guarantee will not work. They just, we've tried just about every tank gauge on the market. We have found that nothing works if, it, if it's under $300. Um, uh, so this is an inexpensive gauge. It will probably fail within a couple of years, but it's only $30. Uh, so you can replace a lot of these gauges before you hit $300, in your, uh, which is the next level up on tank gauges. So uh, we, we always try to provide honest feedback on products that we sell. We carry this product on our website, rainbrothers.com, and uh, really appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.